We continue our coverage on that heavy overnight rain in Zonton today. Fire departments were busy with water rescues, helping people trapped in their cars right in the high water. You see it underway there. WHS 11's Alexis Jones is in Bullitt County. Just a few moments ago, this very road that I'm standing on was completely submerged in water, trapping neighbors who say they haven't seen flooding this bad in years. Down a road blocked by barricades, one man is fighting water from creeping up his driveway. Well, my driveway's got, you know, ruts in it that deep, so I got to get all this back over there and up there. So it's a it's a lot of work. So it's uh, but got to do it. You know, got to do it. It's part of it. Chris, who's trying to stay positive, saw several cars trapped in front of his home Tuesday. He says most of the water is coming from the creek across the street. Front yard was flooded. There was a. Chevy truck right there that thought they could make it through, but it didn't. Inside was a 70 year old man. Luckily, Zoltan fire team was able to help. We had to deploy two members to go out there and get him out of that vehicle. Fire Chief Kevin Moulton says they had five rescues so far, mainly on Zoltan and Stave Mill Roads. So we don't get this much flooding a lot of times, you know. Uh, we get lots of rain sometimes, but this came down pretty quick over the night time. It, it, um, this morning was just a, a rare occasion and it just all piled on at once. Moulton expects conditions will get worse as it continues to pour. He and Chris are urging everyone to move with caution. You know, don't drive through the, the flooded roadways if you can. Find an alternate route. In Bullitt County, Alexis Jones, WHS 11, on your side.